On a warm summer day in 1822, a wealthy German man shot a stork out of the air. Sounds innocuous, right? Except it wasn't just a regular stork. It was a stork with a spear through its body, a field storch. Why is this significant? It cracked an ancient puzzle where migratory birds migrate. No one knew what happened to the storks, swallows, and geese in the winter. They flew numerous in the summer and were suddenly gone when winter came. Various explanations were offered for this. Aristotle had ideas on the subject, which included hibernation of the birds, or the upfront, and more fitting to the weather of the season transformation into a more equipped species. But perhaps Aristotle's theories did not convince many, and more explanations came up all along the ages. Most infamously, the 1600s British scientist David Morton suggested that the birds migrated to the moon. People just didn't know. Until the stout stork of 1822, people speculated about why a spear had pierced the bird when the field storch fell. Following further investigation, scientists discovered the spear was of African origin, the first clue about the bird's migration. Keen to follow this up, German ornithologist Johannes Thiemann and her other researchers fitted the legs of about 2,000 storks with indicators of aluminium bands. The plan with this was when the storks migrated, people would return the aluminium rings and tell Thiemann the location of the stork capture. The plan worked, and Thiemann received thousands of letters, with many of the birds being sighted in Africa. It took him out to the first migration route, which ultimately solved the hair-pulling mystery. How is this even possible? What blows my mind about this is that it was all made possible because some stork hung in there and made a 1,200-mile impaled journey. As a matter of fact, this impresses me still more because 25 file storches have been known in Germany so far as of 2003. With such might, it's no wonder people thought they could 